do you need an ipad as a medical student a question that has been plaguing philosophers for like a millennia and i am going to be giving you every single detail that you need to know in this one single video i am rohit bvr a fourth year medical student at badra medical college and in this channel i post videos about academics majorly so if you feel like this is your cup of tea then do hit the subscribe button i'll be talking about the reasons why you should get an ipad and the reasons why you shouldn't get an ipad so by the end of this video you will have a very good idea about whether you should get an ipad or not so first of all this is my ipad ipad pro this looks crazy cool i'm not going to lie this is the 12.9 inch ipad pro i bought this 3 years ago not a single scratch as you can see i basically bought ipad because i thought that i was going to be taking a lot of notes in my medical college but guess what yes i did take a lot of notes during my first year only to realize that taking notes is pointless so what's the point in having my ipad now well i watch netflix i play clash of clans I used to play PUBG on this. It looks really great. I don't even need a sniper most of the time. The academic reasons of my iPad are actually really less now. At least during my first year, I was using this 3D anatomy app. That was fantabulous. I'm I'm not going to regret it. It was amazing. I have learned a lot of anatomy simply because of that app. So that is one uh, main reason you should get an iPad. You can take some really good notes, but along with the ipad you have to get some uh, apple pencil along with that so that will just add to the cost but if you start taking notes on the ipad it is definitely on the next level it is like something else let's assume you are taking notes in a paper so you going to be taking notes in a paper it is going to be hard to search for something in the future for example you would have studied about aortic dissection right now you might have written something about aortic dissection right now in a note but then in the end of the year if you want to search for it it is pretty much impossible to go through the entire section of notes just to search for the one word aortic dissection but in case of ipad you can simply just search for the text and it's going to show you i used my ipad for studying anatomy from anatomy apps and then i used my ipad for taking notes and point number 3 which is like currently the most important reason why i'm using ipad is simply for marrow by the way i use an ipad so i'm talking about why you should get an ipad but basically all i mean is a big digital device so you can even go for something like a tablet i mean samsung tablet something like that I use an iPad, so that is why I am talking about iPad. And Maro looks fantabulous on uh, iPad. It is just huge and uh, it's just perfect. In fact, uh, I didn't have Maro notes earlier. I will only be using the PDF version of the Maro notes. The PDF version of the Maro notes looks perfect on iPad. It's literally like a book. Like basically, see, look at the size of iPad. It's just humongous. It pretty much covers my entire face. Notes look amazing on iPad. So coming to the downsides of having an iPad, clearly iPad is like crazy costly. Uh, in fact, I guess the Indian market value of iPad Pro when I bought it was one lakh. But also remember that there are also some cheaper iPads, so you can definitely go for it because Apple Apple is lit. The quality of Apple is lit. My iPad is three years old. It still works as good as day one. Or in fact, I can say that it literally even works better than day one because of the latest updates. I vouch for Apple. Apple is really good. You can go for iPad without any doubt. There are cheaper versions. I link some of the cheaper versions of iPad. in the description down below check it out once you get into this apple thing you will automatically end up buying other apple products it's because of this thing called apple ecosystem basically in simple words apple ecosystem is when multiple apple devices work really well when they are paired together buying an ipad doesn't just stop that you might have to get the pencil along with it to add more functionality to take words you have to buy a pencil apple pencil that alone costing 10k and you have to buy this magic keyboard if you want more functionality like typing stuffs that will cost another 10k so even if you buying an apple for 60k keep it in the back of your head that you are adding another 20k to it in fact i was really hesitant to ask my father to buy everything at the same time so i was like in day one i'll get ipad then one year later if i really feel the necessity of an apple pencil i'm going to get an apple pencil and then a year later if i feel the necessity of a keyboard i'm going to get it so that's exactly what i did i used to take a lot of notes during my first year on my ipad but now 3 years later i have switched back to conversion method it's actually really hard to look at ipad like for a long time my screen time was like 12 hours 14 hours at one point and it really was quite hard my eyes are also started getting worse so that was this uh, moment uh, i was studying uh, ofthal from uh, my ipad i had this pdf of the book in uh, my ipad i was reading through it uh, i was studying about myopia basically what i am suffering from myopia and then it was written in, in bold letters Uh, having high screen time on your uh, digital devices is bad uh, you should stop uh, seeing digital devices 2 hours before your sleep because the blue light will interrupt your sleep the funny thing is i was literally 
studying this from my iPad right before I was going to sleep. You can't really be studying from iPad all the time. At one point, you're going to switch back to conventional note taking because that's what I'm doing now. So at the moment, my screen time probably averages around uh, four to five hours. And the rest of the time, I have bought all the books. So that's something you can do. One major upside of having an iPad or any rather any digital devices. See, every single book, every single medical book is available as a PDF. So if you simply have this massive digital tablet, you can download every single PDF, every single medical book PDF for free. So if you ask me, uh, studying on PDFs seems to be like a way more economical thing. So in fact, even if you buy something pretty costly like an iPad Pro, in the long run, if you're going to be downloading all the PDFs from the internet, it is actually really cheap. It in fact becomes cheaper than buying the books. But anyways, at the end of the day, even if you have an iPad or not, you know, it depends on how much hard work you put. I have an iPad. I have, I'm so grateful that my parents did their best to give me whatever I want. I am really grateful for that. But the thing is, did I study anything today? Absolutely not. I came home by 2 o'clock. Now the name is 8 o'clock. I didn't study anything. I have everything. But I didn't study anything. But I have a friend at college. Uh, he is, uh, he's having, he doesn't have an iPad. He only studies from home. He has been studying for the past 4 hours. So, who is the winner here? Who is studying more? He is obviously studying more than me today. At the end of the day, it all depends on your motivation. What do you want to study? How much you study? iPad, all this is just an accessory. You can very well go with conventional note taking. They are also perfectly fine. At the end of the day, it all depends on how much you study. And in this video, I am talking about something more important. And I feel like this video will really help you. So check it out. And uh, that's it. Bye.